This week on CENFO TV, a new place to get your health care, a very green Friday, a very charitable Saturday, a locally produced new media conference, a movie, some opera, a speech by Mayor Gordon, a meetup of a great group of downtown residents, and as always, Dave with all the upcoming week's best live music. <laughs> Welcome to Senfo TV. I'm Jackie Johnson. And I'm Dave Brickhauser. Jackie, we have some thanks to give to Kimber Lanning and Stinkweeds Records. We do. We had our benefit last Sunday at Stinkweeds. Um, we got turned on to some really great new local bands. A bunch of friends came out. It was a gorgeous night. Success all around. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. Well, let's get on with the show. ASU Downtown's Health Center has now opened its doors to the public. It's a full-service site that is staffed with practitioners who specialize in family practice as well as behavioral and mental health care, and they can write full prescriptions. The Greenfield Conference kicked off this week, but don't feel bad if you didn't get to hang out with Al Gore, because there's still plenty to do. On Friday, November 13th, you're invited to the Gateway to Green Neighborhood Celebration at the Downtown Civic Space from 4 until 6. Mayor Gordon and City Council members will be on hand, plus snacks, entertainment, and information on how to make your home and neighborhood more sustainable. And just as that ends, the Roosevelt Row Green Street Festival begins. That goes from 6 until 10, and we'll have a Four Peaks Beer Garden, lots of live music, arts, crafts, and food. But wait, there's more! Friday night also is the Downtown Pub Crawl, which goes until 2 a.m. and then caps off nicely with an after-hours breakfast available at Sonora Grill until 4 a.m. Saturday, November 14th, if you made it through Friday night or if you're still awake, you can participate in the 10th Annual Day for Downtown. There are a few projects that they'll be working on, from painting to cleaning to planting trees. Saturday night at 6, the Phoenix Art Museum hosts Stilos 2009, the fourth annual event to honor the Valley's top Latino talent in areas like art, music, activism, and leadership. There will also be local fashion shows, including Senfo TV's friend V. Marie, and some great sounding live music. And finally, an event at the Trinity Cathedral called Rock Support for Decent Housing will benefit Habitat for Humanity. Again, we want to thank our gracious business sponsors, Sutra Midtown Yoga, Downtown Scottsdale Hair and Nails, Phoenix Rail Food, and Who's Do Magazine. Without their generous support, as well as all of yours, we would not have been able to continue bringing you Senfo TV. Both Saturday and Sunday is PodCamp AZ. We attended this last year, and in fact, we left that very night and did something we've been talking about for months. We recorded the very first Senfo TV. We'll be attending again this year and cannot recommend it highly enough if you're into pretty much anything internet or social media related. Sunday, November 15th, the Phoenix Art Museum will show No Country for Old Men, the excellent 2008 Coen Brothers film. Tuesday the 17th is Mayor Gordon's annual State of Downtown Address. This year it will be held at Cityscape. Last year everyone attending got a sneak peek ride on the light rail, so let's hope there's something fun this year too. Wednesday the 18th, the Phoenix Art Museum will present Greer Grimsley from the Arizona Opera's upcoming production of Salome. He'll be performing a piece from the production in front of the painting Salome with the head of St. John the Baptist. Thursday the 19th is the monthly Get Your Fix, a very cool opportunity to meet with other people who are invested in making downtown Phoenix great. This month's gathering will be at Hula's Modern Tiki. And finally, some more self-promotion. On Friday, November the 20th, Dave and I will be hosting a couple hours of our favorite local music at Radio Phoenix. And I'm not sure if we've mentioned it a few million times or not, but Saturday the 21st is Senfo TV's one-year anniversary party at the Ruby Room with four outstanding local bands, lots of friends, and no cover charge. For details on these and more events or to add your own events, please visit our calendar at senfo.tv. Now here's Dave with all the best live music in the Valley this week. Friday, November 13th, the Flowbots will play the clubhouse, hot buttered rum, the sail in. Modified Art starts day one of their in-venue festival featuring Black Carl and four others. Local Ritz band Flathead and local rockabilly band Voodoo Swing will play the Yucca Tap Room. My favorite stand-up comedian, Dave Attell, will be at the Improv through Sunday the 16th. And finally, Stinkweeds Records presents the Green Street Street Festival with locals Snake Snake Snakes and Turnback Man playing outside on 5th Street and Roosevelt. And that's my show of the week. Saturday, November 14th, will play the Marquee Theater. Orchestral band Telegraph Canyon will play a free show at the Lost Leaf. Modified brings day two of their festival, this time featuring Yellow Minute, What Laura Says, and four others. Everclear will play the Scottsdale Waterfront. Locals Vanessa Atlanta will play the Ice House Tavern. And local world band Drive River Yacht Club will play the Sail Inn. Sunday, November 15th, Seattle's The Duchess and Duke will play the Rhythm Room. And prior to the show, they'll do an in-store at Stinkweeds Records. And Modified will host the final day of their festival, this time featuring locals Sister Cities, Drive River 
RV Yacht Club, Dust Jacket, and others. Monday, November 16th, Garage Rockers King Con and the Barbecue Show will play the Marquee Theater, and local indie rockers Running With Bears will play a free show at The Lost Leaf, and I know I keep mentioning it, but every show at The Lost Leaf is free, which is just one of many reasons why The Lost Leaf is a freaking cool club. Wednesday, November 18th, Seattle's orchestral band Grand Archives will play the Rhythm Room, and local indie band What Laura Says will play the Yucca Tap Room. Friday, November 20th, the Sugar Thieves will be at the Yucca Tap Room. Saturday, November 21st, Pete Yarn will play the Marquee Theater. Local trance band Antarctica the Beautiful will play the Lost Leaf. Black Carl and what Laura says will play the Olive Branch. And of course, the most important of all, the Love Me Nots, the Necronauts, Surfside 4, and Snake Snake Snakes will play our one-year anniversary party at the Ruby Room. Please come out and help us celebrate. We'd really like to see you guys there. Please. Please. Well, that's it for this week. For all the bars, bands, and links, they're in our show notes at senfo.tv. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget, you can subscribe to us on iTunes and YouTube and find us on Facebook, MySpace, and Twitter. You can also sign up for our mailing list so you get our show delivered to you every Friday. And as always, we really love to hear comments and suggestions, so you can email those to us at senfo at senfo.tv, or you can leave comments in our show notes section at senfo.tv. <laughs> Um, I'm pretty sure I mentioned it, um, but November 21st is our one year anniversary party featuring the Necronauts, Love Me Nots, Surfside 4, and Snake Snake Snakes. <laughs> <laughs> Romantic, huh? Because it's not, because it's a creepy movie. And voila. I was doing something weird. I'm a pro! And. <laughs> There's fruit! Did I mention um, our one-year anniversary party?